Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another little like chatty makeup play date video where I put on a bunch of makeup that I've been sort of trying out recently and just sort of give you like little mini reviews as I go. I've really been enjoying these. They're quite laid back chilled casual videos that I can film very easily which has worked really well because as you know I've been quite busy and stressed with uni work lately so slightly more low-key videos are where it's at for me at the moment. It also gives me a chance to share some of my thoughts on a bunch of new products that I've recently had come into my collection. I've had quite an influx recently. So if you do end up enjoying this video then don't forget to give it a thumbs up for me to let me know. Subscribe if you are new and without further ado let's get started. So today I'm going to start with primer. I'm actually going to use a primer water. This is the Smashbox primer water. I was so kindly gifted the entire primer range from Smash Smashbox. <laughs> Smashbox. And I was kind of overwhelmed because there was literally about 10 different primers in there, including their primer water, their primer oil, all of their different like photo finish primers. It does work well as like a primer, but I don't feel like it's actually that much different from any other kind of moisturizing face spray, such as like my beloved Clinique one. And this one doesn't contain any fragrance or like essential oils, whereas I'm pretty sure the Smashbox one does, or at least it does smell like it. I haven't had a chance to check the ingredients, but I also don't like the spray on this one as much as my Clinique spray. I think that mists it a little bit finer. This is quite direct, um, but I have found that it does make a good base, like my foundation does stick quite nicely to it. For foundation today I'm going to pop on the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is in the new shade Cloud. I know many of you were keen to see this one in action on my face. <laughs> and this colour is very very fair as you can see. Um, it's meant to be very very fair with pink rosy undertones. I wouldn't say it's rosy at all. I would call this a true neutral. It doesn't really have much of an undertone really at all. I quite like that because I do like a neutral undertone, but if you were very rosy, you might be disappointed in the undertone of this. I'm also going to use this blending sponge. This is a new one that I got sent from, an, uh, from a subscriber. A big pack of them. Um, these are the Pro Makeup Blending Sponges by Beauty Junkies. I've never heard of that brand or anything before. It probably is... A US based brand. They are definitely firmer than like the Beauty Blender or the Flower Beauty sponge but it's still soft enough that I can enjoy it because I'm not a big fan of really really firm um, beauty blenders but this one's okay. So this colour does almost look too light for me but I do have a slightly darker face compared to what my neck is and you can see like once it's blended out it's actually a pretty good colour for me. I would call this a true winter colour. I think in summer I'm going to struggle to wear this just because it will be a little bit light then. But I do own the Too Faced Born This Way in Swan and Snow. So I'm thinking I might be able to mix them together in the summer to get a nice shade. And in a way I think it's almost better that this one has come out as more of a neutral because I think it will work for more undertones that way. I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC10. Just got a little bit of scarring down here that I struggle to cover with that foundation because it is only medium coverage. Then underneath my eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of this Nabla Cosmetics Close-Up Stay Full Smooth Concealer in the shade Porcelain. This is not quite light enough for this foundation, I don't think, but it's still, it's still pretty fair. I'd say it's pretty close in colour to like Shape Tape in um, Fair, but I just use it very sparingly just on those really inner corner dark spots. I do really like the formula of this Nabla one. I would say it's quite similar actually to the new Too Faced sculpting concealer. I'd say the shade porcelain is a little bit more neutral in undertone. It's not super warm like the shade Swan in the Too Faced concealer, but it still leans, I'd say, yeah, I'd say neutral warm, this one. It's not the fairest concealer I've ever used, but I can definitely wear it and enjoy it. I typically like concealers that match my skin tone rather than being super light anyway, so therefore quite a lot of concealers can actually work for my complexion. For powder, I'm going to set my face with the RCMA No Color Powder. I vowed many years ago to never buy this because of the packaging, because it's kind of annoying and you get so much product, I just knew I'd never get through it and I just was like, eh, I don't really need it. But then my lovely friend Lacey was buying it for herself and she also agreed she'd never get through it. So she tipped out some for herself and then gave me the rest, which is so lovely. Um, the packaging's still an issue, but the actual product is great. It's very similar to that Derma Blend powder that I've been loving. So the way I use it is I tip a little bit actually into the cap and then I go in with a small powder brush. Actually, this brush itself is really nice. I need to talk about this. This is by Sonia Kashuk. I think it's pronounce it and I love how it looks it's a really nice gold brush but the actual brush itself is so nice for powdering it's like 
I think more like a blush brush kind of size, but it's really, really fluffy. And I'm just really enjoying it for doing quite like strategic setting of my makeup around my face. So I'm not baking with this powder. You guys know I don't really bake very often, basically ever. I don't really think it does much difference on me except for make me look a little bit older. <laughs> so I typically just use a small amount of powder and really press it into the skin. So I concentrate the powder like under my eyes, on the sides of my nose and around the concealer that I put around my chin and then I just take whatever is left and kind of just spread it out around my face to kind of set my makeup. I'm not going to contour today, I just don't really feel like it and I don't really have any new products to show you so I'll just skip that. But um, a bronzer that I wanted to use was this Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is actually in the shade Bronzer so I'll get my light bronzer out so I can show you the difference in colour which is all the way at the back of my drawer. Can I get it out? So here are the two bronzers. This one here is just called the Light Bronzer. This is the one that I've owned for quite some time and used on my channel before. And then this is the new colour that I got. This is just in the shade Bronzer. And you can see that the undertones of them are quite different. So this one is not much darker. It is a little bit, but barely. It's still a pretty fair skin friendly bronzer. It's just it's a lot more cool toned and I actually prefer that. So um, I feel like I won't end up using the Light Bronzer colour very much anymore just because I actually prefer the color bronzer. So that's what I'm going to use today and I'm going to use my big fluffy brush. You, A lot of you guys always ask about this one. It is by Ella Cosmetics. Any of the pink handle rose gold feral brushes I use are by Ella Cosmetics. It's an Australian brand. Even though it's a matte bronzer it blends really beautifully, never looks muddy. It just adds a nice sort of amount of color to the face. And the scent of them is what makes them quite popular, I think, as well, because they do smell like pina coladas. And for blush, I'm going to use the Butter Blush in the colour, I think this is called Natural Glow. This is like a really nice sort of soft, almost peachy pink with a gold shimmer. It's very similar to like NARS Orgasm kind of colour. These Physicians Formula products were kindly gifted to me from Lacey, who's my friend in the US who often helps me get products that I can't get here. And she's so kind, she always throws in extra things. And I think she had bought the set of these just to get the perfume that it came with. She did know I already had the light bronzer, but she thought I would quite like this color, which I do, so thanks Lacey. And she knew that I didn't have either of the highlighter or the blushes, so I'm so thankful to be able to try them. So thank you so much, Lacey. And after playing around with them for a while, my verdict is that I adore the butter blush. I think this is such a nice formula. And this particular color, the natural glow color, is so pretty, very flattering. Something that I think would work very well on neutral warm skin and even neutral cool like me. I think if you're super cool, like really, really pink, it might be a little too coral for you, but it's pretty, yeah, quite muted. But then we have the highlighter, and in my opinion, this is not one of my favorite highlighters. It's very similar to ColourPop Flexitarian and its texture, and that it's kind of like a sort of is it cream is it powder sort of formula but I found when it was on my skin it did look a little bit sort of glittery and chunky it is one of those ones that if you really do buff it in you can really smooth it out but it wasn't my favorite favorite formula so I'm gonna use this other one that I got sent from another subscriber <laughs> you guys are just too lovely um, it's by this brand called Technic and it's their get gorgeous highlighting powder the girl that sent this to me did state that the packaging on it is terrible and it doesn't really snap shut so it came like taped up um, to keep it safe in transit and yeah I can confirm the packaging's terrible but the actual product is so 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 pretty it's probably the most finely milled sort of satiny highlighter I've ever used it's very similar to something like the bare minerals invisible glow but with just a little bit more glow so you do get a little bit more of a pearlescent sheen obviously with it um, but it's got that same sort of quite powdery texture but it's very finely milled um, and it doesn't emphasize texture on your actual face. This is one that I can use really quite liberally. I'll sometimes use it with a big brush like all over my entire face. <laughs> um, I'm just using a little brush here, but I'm really buffing it into the skin and it just is so, so pretty. Such a nice everyday highlight. Again, I'm not 100% sure where we can get this one, but I always leave links below. So I will go on a bit of a search on the internet onto where you could pick this one up because it's so pretty. So if you've got cool toned skin especially, I think you'll love this one. For brows today, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. brow pencil in the shade Taupe. Um, and I mentioned this in my last little like makeup play date that I purchased this on recommendation. I believe it was from Lauren May Beauty. 
but I have definitely seen a couple of different YouTubers rave about this one so it's kind of like a collective rave <laughs> and I'm so happy with this. This has been the sort of pencil that I've been reaching for when I need to do my brows quickly because I do love that new MAC brow pen that I showed in my last makeup play date. The Shape and Shade I think it's called. I love that but that does take quite a bit of time to use I feel like that's the kind of one I reach for when I want the best brow I can get but with when I've got time so when I can be patient but if I'm in a rush like particularly if I just want to slap on a bit of makeup just to sort of get out the door and run some errands this is so good yeah so that took about a third of the time that the my mac one takes to put on so it's definitely my quick brow option and it's so affordable I believe these are two dollars in the US and I would rate it above a lot of my higher end brow pencils in that so I love e.l.f. their brow kit as well is one of my favorites in the color ash for brow gel I'm going to use my Essence Make Me Brow. Essence actually sent me a bunch of new ones of these so I'm so excited because this is one of my favorite brow gels. This is in the shade called Blondie Brows. It used to be called Soft Brownie Brows but now it's called Blondie Brows which makes a lot more sense. Um, so I think they've updated the names in that which is kind of nice for me to have a new updated one. For a base on my eyes I'm going to use this very very old school product that Lacey threw in my parcel. The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk which I just think is so cool. This just took me right back. This is what everyone used when I first started YouTube like five years ago. And the palette I'm playing around with today is actually again another cool neutral palette that I'm sort of in the process of testing for my cool neutrals palette video which I know so many of you are excited about that is coming this month and I'm very excited for it. I'm just still getting together all my thoughts and all my research for it. This is actually the most expensive palette in the um, lineup that I'm going to be talking about. This is the MAC Cool Neutrals eyeshadow palette. So this is like a bunch of their singles put into a MAC palette, but they sell it as is. So you can just buy it straight out like this. I must say, when I first saw this, I was a little bit underwhelmed by it. Like it looks a bit meh in the pan, a little bit boring, but it's actually really nice. It's probably, spoiler alert, one of my favorite ones. So I'm going to use this middle color here. This is like a really nice soft kind of, unfortunately they don't have names on the back so I'm just going to point. It's this one here in the middle. It's like really nice matte mousy sort of taupe color and I'm going to use that kind of like a transition through the crease. This is one of my favorite looks that I've done from this palette so far. And then I'm going to take this deeper brown shade here over on the side. This is a really nice cool toned dark brown and the same fluffy brush. This one's by Haku Hodo. And I'm just going to blend that into the outer part of the eye and the crease. I've really been enjoying how easily these shadows blend. Like even though that's quite a dark color, it really blends out well um, with only one really soft transition shade underneath. So that's my main like, that's the main reason I love this palette is the dark matte colors really blend beautifully. Then I'm just going to take a little flat shader brush. This one's by L'Oreal and that same Smashbox Primer water that I used at the start. And I'm going to go in with this shimmery taupe shade up the top here. These shimmer shades are a little bit more subtle. They're not quite as sort of blinding, I think, as a lot of shimmers that we're used to these days. Um, but I think if you are someone that wants quite like wearable shades for like day to day, then the sort of level of shimmer that they give is quite good. I'm also going to run a little bit of that mousy color and a very small blending brush. Just a little bit of that under my eye. Probably my biggest gripe is that I wish this front clear side was actually a mirror because I have to use my viewfinder. <laughs> I'm just going to go back in and add a little bit more of that deeper shade. Just a touch because sometimes when I blend on a shimmer it tends to sort of blend away some of the dark shade and then I'm just going to take some of this matte cream shade down here just a little fluffy brush and just use that under my brow bone it's a very very subtle matte highlight just blending out a little bit of my Essence Extreme Lasting eye pencil this is in Black Love I also put a bit of the Silky Nude color on my 
lower waterline. Then for mascara, I'm going to use this little mini Buxom mascara. This is their Lash Mascara. That's all it's called in Black is Black. And I didn't think I would like this, but I ended up actually really liking it because it is a rubber bristle wand, and I typically prefer natural bristle um, wands. And the trick with this mascara that I've found is that it needs two layers, definitely. So what I do is I go in first and apply... Oh my gosh, did I just do that? Yep, I smudged my makeup. Oh, that's too big to even wait to scrape off, so I just have to do some... Ugh, okay. Put a little bit of my concealer over top. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, I just go in first with a single layer, just to kind of get a base down. It doesn't make my lashes look anything that amazing. It just basically colors them very hard to do in this little mirror I think that's why I smudged it before so I do my single layer you can see it doesn't look very good at all um, but then I wait for a little bit let them get a little bit dry and then I go in with a second layer and on this layer I really like wriggle my brush to get it really like to the bottoms of the lashes so it really lifts them and on the second layer you can actually feel it really grabbing the lashes better because you've kind of already put down that first layer almost like a primer um, and in that way, I can get some lashes that I'm pretty happy with. So yeah, that's the final result. Final step is lips. And for this, I'm actually going to use a little mini size of the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment. I really, really like these. I've got a couple of full-size ones as well. Um, and this is in the shade Star Woman, which is probably my favorite shade that I've tried. It's a really beautiful, true crimson red. So... I have to concentrate to put this one on. <laughs> Ta-da! Isn't that amazing? Ah, I love that red. It's so nice and deep and like a true cherry red. It makes me look like Snow White if I had dark hair. So that's the final look there. I hope you guys again enjoyed this kind of chatty let's play with makeup kind of video where I can show you some things that I've been trying out recently and my thoughts on them. If you do enjoy these videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up so that I know to make more of them. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you then. Bye!